Hello and welcome to my channel. In the very last video, linked up here, we did a series of paintings, this one and this one, based on a dot card very similar to this one. However, we only got through those two, so we had six remaining. So stay tuned and we will do the remaining six dot cards in the color indigo. We are starting today's adventure with the Sennelier version of Indigo and I decided to do a little wave painting and using my masking fluid from PBO just to put on the highlights at the tops of the waves and the some stars in the sky, stuff like that that I wanted to keep whiter. And I put a wash of water over the whole thing and then just put it in and right away I could tell that this Indigo was way more the color Indigo that I was looking for. So. I really enjoyed the hue of this color. It's just beautiful. So I'm just doing little details here and there, just trying to get the darks dark enough, and the lights are already light enough, so we don't have to worry about that. Just putting layers on it to get the really deep blue color that I wanted in the waves, and going back over the sky, doing the same thing. Finally get it pretty much how I like it, do the wash, and then I pull off that one strip of tape and I use the tape itself to pull off the masking fluid. And there was a few places that I missed that I found later, but it wasn't a huge deal, so you won't see the final final, but it's close enough. And here we have a little wave painting with Sennelier's version of Indigo. I just think it's beautiful. Really loved it a lot. It was fun to work with, re-wet easily. Now we're moving on to Schminky. Did my little dot test and right away I'm like, ooh, this is not quite the color I'm looking for. And it actually looks bluer in this video than it really is. <clears throat> this Schminky version of Indigo, it's pretty gray. It's uh, not as gray as the one we had in the last video, but it's still pretty gray. So you can see, and the drying shift there, oh, the drying shift was awful. So you had this nice vibrant color and then it dried and it was just like, hmm, that's not great. <laughs> I don't like massive drying shifts. So anyway, for this one, it's just a night scene with some pine trees and I end up putting some white gouache on at the end for the stars and then a little bit of snow in the tree branches. So that one works pretty well. I like that one a lot. I don't like the hue, it's not the indigo I'm looking for, but I like the way it turned out. I'm peeling the tape off. I hate it when the paint gets through the corners of the tape, but oh well. Sorry about the wiggling camera. I do my best. <laughs> and there we have it. And next we are on to Cora's version of Indigo, and this one I'm really excited for because if you saw my last video, Cora are the paints that I used the most. And on this I'm using a rubber applying tool for that masking fluid, and then I do the dispersion test, and this is typical of Cora. It just explodes out of the water, so I zoomed in so you could see the effect. It just boom, fingers out. That's what I'm going to call it, is fingering out, and then I gave a little bit higher pigment load in there so you could see that better. That's core for you. <laughs> so I water the whole thing down and you'll see it explode. Oh, look at that. It is such a cool effect. I know that, you know, those of you that want more control are not going to like this effect, but I like paints that are out of control a little bit and that's why I like alcohol inks I think so much because you just get what you get, and it is the way it is. And here I slowed down to real time so you could see on that rubber end how that masking fluid just peels right off. So you don't have to ruin a brush or anything to apply your masking fluid. It's pretty handy. The color here with Coors Indigo you can see is really nice. It's exactly the color that I would think of when I'm looking for an indigo. So I decided to keep some of the fingering in this little piece because I have a bunch of branches I'm putting in later and I think it just looks nice. It kind of lets it branch out. 
Anyway, it took forever for the cord to dry, I think because I have it taped down. So I moved on to this Mission Gold Indigo and I put in my sketch. I am also using the PBO masking fluid again to keep in my lighter values. And this time I tried a portrait and I don't think I've done a portrait in watercolor. Uh, well, I've done one, I guess. I have one in all purple monochromatic um, style, but anyway, back to the core here. I'm putting in the branches with a very pigmented version of the paint and gorgeous wets so re, re wet so easily and it was just really nice to put that in there. And I didn't sketch these little cats in so I have to adjust them a little bit, but three cats on a tree. You'll see these references like if you Google stuff you can just, they're everywhere. So I liked it and I modified it just a little bit for my own purposes and just really enjoyed using the core paint uh, on that one and then I don't think I caught it on camera but I did oh I did yeah I did the little highlights with the uniball gel jelly roll and there's the final one with the highlights I actually adjusted them a little because some of them were on the wrong side of the cats and looked weird so I adjusted them a little but I didn't get them on camera sorry about that and then, of course, I started this one without starting the camera. Why is that so hard to remember? I have no idea. It's like I turn it on and I think that I've hit record, but I didn't. I just turned it on. So anyway, moving into this one, Mission Gold. I could tell right away this color is wacky. Like, what the heck is going on? This is not an indigo. At least not any kind of indigo that I think of. But, you know, I wanted to finish it because that was the idea of this exercise so it's just a gray gritty grainy paint it's it's weird and then I used masking tape to get the masking fluid off again there were a few places I missed getting the masking fluid off and I went back and did those later but I softened a few edges as well all right moving on to Jackson's indigo now I re-wet not re-wet but they wet the whole little sketch and then I pulled out some of the paint and then I needed that to dry so I moved on to the cast art indigo and I'm just sketching a flower here I thought it would be kind of fun to just do a flower flowers are fun too anyway because you kind of let the paint kind of slide into the petals and that's really fun so Jackson's indigo was a really pretty color and I really liked the hue of this color is just is nice really nice i was actually really impressed i did not have high hopes for jackson's paint but i liked it and then here i just dry brushed and put the salt on it you i skipped past that in my voice over here but you saw it anyway sticking in some penguins and kind of keeping this one a little more stylistic and simple and i don't know it's not my favorite i don't I don't like this painting as well, but it's okay. Jackson's was a nice color, just it didn't re-wet well, and I don't know. It was a little lighter blue than I was looking for, but it turned out okay. Moving on to Cass Arts, I did my border around the flower and knew it had to be darker, but I didn't have a lot of paint on this particular dot card, so I was being a little bit, oh, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> not generous at the first to make sure I had enough paint to actually finish the flower before I really use some dark dark values so just trying to get the darks and the streaks and the little lines in the petals right and again with this cast art indigo I liked the color a lot it just is a nice indigo blue that I was looking for and obviously I'm wetting it down here so it's much lighter than maybe some of you will think an indigo should be but I am being very careful with the application of paint there because it was a pretty slim dot card but once I got all the flowers petals in I'm like okay I have enough I can really go in dark now and so I went back and did all the darks darker and just kind of fussed <laughs> with all the petals until they were how I liked them so it was kind of fun. I really enjoyed this one actually. Made it more square. And then I did my little gradient there and I barely had any paint left on that dot card so the gradient didn't work like the others but eh, still got the point across. 
And there's the zoomed in version of it. Yeah, I like the way it turned out. It's kind of nice. And here are all eight of the paintings from the dot card, the one dot card. So you can see the big differences in color between some of them, especially Daniel Smith, Schmeeke, and Mission Gold. It's really clear that they're very, very different from each other. So are they really indigos? I guess. So I crossed those three off. I don't want those because my, my mission here is to find an indigo that I really want to use. So Daniel Smith, Schminky, and Mission Gold did not make the cut. Sorry, you guys are out of here. So we have the, what is that, five left to choose from. And I crossed off Jackson's and Cass Art because Jackson's and Cass Art, they didn't re-wet very easily so it took a lot of effort to re-wet them and then the cast art was a little bit chalky holbein i crossed off only because the drying shift was more drastic than sennelier and core so i'm like no nah, i don't want the massive drying shift that one's gonna go so it comes down to sennelier and core and i like sennelier because it's non-granulating and the drying shift wasn't very much and it re-wet really well and so that one gets a go in my opinion. I also really like the core because I, as I mentioned, I really like that unpredictability, that fingering. Core, however, is a granulating indigo. So I've decided that if I want two indigos, I will choose Sennelier and core, one non-granulating and one granulating, and I'll have the best of both worlds. So I am dying to know which one was your favorite? Which one would you pick? Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you put your answer in the comments below. Hit like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Last video. Shoot. Dang it. Let me start over. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. Dang, Dang it. it. <laughs> no sniffling. Ah. <laughs>